it's time to jump into g -g 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 green. So we've done white, we've done blue, we've done black, and we've done red. Wow, what a bad time for a cop. And now it's time to complete our color pie with green. After which we will jump into the multicolor lands, artifacts, etc. But time for the final piece to the color wheel. And that is green. First up, we have Adaptive Spore Singer. That's kind of creepy. It's two and a green for a 2 2 Phyrexian Druid with Vigilance. When Adaptive Spore Singer enters the battlefield, choose one. Target creature gets plus two, plus two, and gains vigilance until end of turn. Or you get to proliferate. That's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Next up, we've got Armored Scrap Gorger. One and a green for an 0-3 Phyrexian Beast. Scrap Gorger gets plus three, plus O, as long as it has three or more oil counters on it, and you get to tap it to add one mana of any color. When Scrap Gorger becomes tapped, exile target card from a graveyard and put an oil counter on it. Wow, so this is like a um, an Elvish Mystic plus an Ooze. That's pretty cool. I like it. And you need to get three oil counters on it to make it a 3-3 three, three that also still taps for one mana, co one mana of any color. I really like this card. This is pretty powerful. I think this is really cool. Next up, we've got Bloated Contaminator. This is horrifying. Two and a green for a 4-4 four, four Phyrexian Beast with Trample and Toxic 1. Whenever Bloated Contaminator deals combat damage to a player, you proliferate. So not only are you dealing one toxic damage, uh, but you get to proliferate. That's pretty cool. Next up, we've got Branch Blight Stalker. One and a green for a 3-1 Phyrexian Elf Scout with Toxic 2. Two mana for a 3-1 with Toxic 2. Not too bad. Next up, we've got Canker Bloom. One and a green for a 3-2 Phyrexian Fungus. You can pay one to sacrifice Canker Bloom and choose one. Either destroy target artifact, destroy target enchantment, or proliferate. So whatever you need most in the moment, you can pay one to sacrifice a Canker Bloom and do that thing. I like it. Carnivorous Canopy, two and a green for a sorcery. Destroy target artifact, enchantment, or creature with flying. If that permanence value was three or less, proliferate. I like that. It's, um, you know, shoot down or, um, um, yeah, just shoot down, I guess. Or canopy. Um, there's another version of canopy. I don't know if it's carnivorous canopy, though. Carnivorous, not carnivorous. This is cool. I like it. Next up, we've got Conduit of Worlds. Two green green for an artifact. You may play lands from your graveyard. Tap it to choose target non-land permanent card in your graveyard. If you haven't cast a spell this turn, you may cast that card. If you do, you can't cast additional spells this turn. Activate only as a sorcery. So that's pretty cool. You can choose non-land permanent cards in your graveyard to cast um, directly from your graveyard. Uh, if you don't know, Elish Norn has corrupted Nyssa in order to develop a conduit that mimics the world tree from Kaldheim, which is what connects all of the planes together allowing for Phyrexia and the Phyrexian armies to infiltrate other planes. This is kind of the, the catalyst um, of the future plans for Phyrexia and the Phyrexian invasion is this mimic world tree. I think it's pretty cool. It also synergizes nicely with what Green was trying to do in the last set, Brothers War. Uh, with Titania and all of this graveyard land synergy. So I think this is going to be really interesting and standard. Next up, we've got Contagious Vorak, this horrific beast. 
two and a green for a 3-3 three, three Phyrexian Boar Beast. A Boar Beast. Um, when Contagious Vorak enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a land card from among them and put it into your hand with the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. If you didn't put a card into your hand this way, proliferate. That sounds like it should be good, but it's actually not that good. Um, could be good in a limited deck if you're playing something that lands matter. If you already have um, some other stuff that cares about land ETBs, uh, this would be interesting. Otherwise, it's just three mana, three, three. That probably will just proliferate. Next up, we've got Copper Long Legs. One and a green for a 1-3 Phyrexian Spider with Reach. You can pay one and a green to sacrifice it and proliferate. That's not terrible. Then we've got Evolved Spinoderm. That is scary looking. Two green green for a 5-5 five, five Phyrexian Beast. Evolved Spinoderm enters the battlefield with four oil counters on it. Evolve Spinoderm has Trample as long as it has two or fewer oil counters on it. Otherwise, it has Hexbrew. So it enters the battlefield with Hexbrew, and then as you remove oil counters from it, it can get Trample. At the beginning of your upkeep, remove an oil counter from Evolve Spinoderm. Then if it has no oil counters on it, sacrifice it. So for two turns, it starts with four oil counters on it. Okay, so you play a 5-5 five, five for 4, which is great value. And then for 2 turns, it has Hexbrew. After 2 turns, it will have Trample. And then on your 4th turn, it will die on your upkeep. So that's interesting. It's a nice little clock. I like it. It's aggressive. Evolving Adaptive is 1 green for an... Zero, 0 Phyrexian Warrior. Evolving Adaptive enters the battlefield with an oil counter on it, and it gets 1-1 one, one for each oil counter on it. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, if that creature has greater power or toughness than Evolving Adaptive, put an oil counter on Evolving Adaptive. So this is just one of those green synergies that gets bigger as long as you keep playing bigger creatures. Um... That's pretty good. Expand the sphere. Three and a green for a sorcery. Look at the top six cards of your library. Put up to two land cards from among them onto the battlefield tapped and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. If you put fewer than two lands onto the battlefield this way, proliferate a number of times equal to the difference. So if you don't choose any lands, then you can proliferate twice. If you choose one land, you can proliferate once. And if you choose two lands, you can't proliferate at all. Four mana, it's a little hefty, and it's sorcery speed, but uh, that's not too bad. Next up is the Sun's Twilight for green. It is X green. Reveal the top X plus one cards of your library. Choose a creature card and or a land card from among them. Put those cards into your hand and the rest onto the bottom of your library in a random order. If X is five or more, instead put the chosen cards onto the battlefield or into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library. Reveal the top X cards. So if you pay five, this is a six mana sorcery. So you pay five and a green. You get to look at the top five cards of your library. You can choose a creature card and a land card and put them directly onto the battlefield. That's pretty good. I would say that's above the black one even, which means that our current ranking and our final ranking is white, blue, red, green, black for the Sun's Twilight cards. That's, that's pretty cool. It's kind of like um, collected company a bit, but you get an extra land and you get to decide how many cards you look at. Uh, next up, we've got Ickerspit Basilisk. Two and a green for a 1-3 Phyrexian Basilisk with Death Touch and Toxic 1. I mean, that's not great. 
I don't I don't like it, but Pardon me, my throat is my throat is giving up. Um also my vines are falling down. I wanted to put vines on my thing because I like having fake plants in my office, but also my mic arm and my microphone are black. So when my camera is dark and there's not a lot of light in here, it kind of looks like I'm talking into nothing. And I wanted to make it obvious that there was like a microphone here. Um, yeah, this card is fine. It's not good, um, but it's not terrible. Next up, we've got Incubation Sack. One in a, or not one in a green, one green for an artifact. Incubation Sack enters the battlefield with three oil counters on it. Pay four, tap it to remove an oil counter, create a 3-3 three, three colorless Phyrexian Golem artifact creature token. Activate only as a sorcery. So you pay one to put it on the battlefield that has three oil counters on it. Then you have to pay four to remove an oil counter and create a 3-3. Three, three. So you can continuously make 3-3s, three, um, but you have to keep proliferating to um, keep the oil counters up on Incubation Sack. And you're paying four mana every time for a 3-3. Three, three. So this is okay. If you've got some artifact synergies, this would be good because the 3-3s three you're making are also artifact creatures. Um, otherwise, it's not. It's like middle of the road for me. Uh, Infectious Bite. One in a green for an instant target creature you control deals damage equal to, pa to its power to target creature you don't control. Each opponent gets a po poison counter. So this is a fight spell um, that automatically gives your opponent a poison counter. I like this. I think I'm going to replace some of my fight spells in my um, modern death touch deck with this for sure. Lattice Blade Mantis, three and a green for a four, three Phyrexian insect creature. This is terrifying. I feel like I would just turn around if that popped up and tried to stop me from doing something. Lattice Blade Mantis enters the battlefield with two oil counters on it. Whenever Lattice Blade Mantis attacks, you may remove an oil counter from it. If you do, untap it, and it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. That's interesting. This just seems like a lot for... For what? A 5-4? An untapped 5-4. Uh, next up, we've got Maze's Mantle. Two and a green for an enchantment aura with flash. Enchant creature. Uh, when Maze's Mantle enters the battlefield, if enchanted creature has toxic, that creature gains hexproof until end of turn. And enchanted pre creature gets plus two, plus two. That's not, that's not bad. It's not great. Mid middle of the road. It's fine. Next up, we've got Nissa Ascendant Animist. Scary looking planeswalker. Um, I love how one of Nissa's arms is just her staff that she's been holding since she was revealed. Uh, Nissa Ascendant Animist costs three green, green, green Phyrexian mana, green Phyrexian mana. So, at its most expensive, this card is 7 mana. At its least expensive, it is 5 mana and 4 life. Which is crazy. For all of that mana, you get a 7 mana or 7 loyalty planeswalker with plus 1, create an XX green Phyrexian horror creature token where X is Nyssa, Nyssa's loyalty. Oh, that's interesting. So if you play this and plus one it right away, you get an 8-8. Eight, eight. So you pay three plus four is seven. You, you pay seven, play Nissa, plus one it, create an 8-8. Eight, eight. That's actually not bad. Especially in green where you can ramp to get there faster. Uh, it's... Nissa's minus one ability is destroy target artifact or enchantment. Also very strong. Minus seven until end of turn. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one for each forest you control and gain trample. So that's a big finisher move. 
Um, I really like this Planeswalker. I didn't think I was going to. Uh, I've been keeping tabs on all the Planeswalkers because of the completed storyline. Um, and I guess I didn't pay that much attention to what they actually did. And this one's pretty good. I like this one. Noxious Assault. Three green green for a sorcery. Creatures you control get plus two, plus two until end of turn. Whenever a creature blocks this turn, its controller gets a poison counter. So you're asking your opponent to not block, or you're telling your opponent they shouldn't block, and everything you control gets plus two, plus two. I mean, that's not bad. It is five mana, so it's expensive, uh, but it could win you the game. Next up, we've got Oil Gorger Troll. Three green green for a 3-4 Phyrexian Troll Warrior. When Oil Gorger Troll enters the battlefield, you gain three life. Then, if you control a permanent with an oil counter on it, draw a card. So five mana for a 3-4, gain three life, draw a card. That's decent. That's decent value. Next up, we've got Paladin of Predation. Five green green, seven mana for a 6-7 Phyrexian Knight with Toxic 6. Paladin of Predation can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. You just have to get hit by this twice and you lose the game. That's crazy. Actually, you know what? What is that? Where is that fight spell? I wonder if, if the fight spell says any target to target creature. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, where were we? Here. So this is pretty scary, but it's also not crazy broken. Um, yeah, this is this is a must kill. Just mathematically, this is a must kill when it gets played. Um, you can only take two hits from it. And you're dead by toxic, by poison counters. So uh, next up, we've got Plague Nurse. I've seen people talk about this card quite a bit. Plague Nurse is three and a green for a three, four Phyrexian Cleric with Toxic two. And then you could pay two and a green. Each other creature you control with Toxic gains Toxic one until end of turn. Activate only as only once each turn. Okay. So you add a Toxic to creatures that already have Toxic. So if you finesse it right, you could, you know, win the game on, on one turn. Next up, we've got Predation Steward. One and a green for a 2-2 two, two Phyrexian Elf Warrior. Enters the battlefield with two oil counters on it. Then you can pay two and a green, tap it, remove an oil counter from the steward. Target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Activate only as a sorcery. That's okay. Uh, Rustvine Cultivator. One green for a 1-2 Phyrexian Elf Druid. Tap it, put an oil counter on Rustvine Cultivator. Or you can tap it, remove an oil counter from it, untap target land. Meh. I don't think that's very good. Um, then we've got Ruthless Predation. One and a green for a sorcery. Target creature you control gets plus one, plus two until end of turn. It fights target creature you don't control. So they both both creatures do combat damage. That's okay. I don't like the fight. I like the damage spells versus the fight spells. Next up, we've got Sky Synth Engulfer. Five and a green for a 6-5 Phyrexian Beast with Reach and Trample. Sky Synth Engulfer can't be blocked by creatures with flying. Oh, damn. I mean, that's pretty boring, but it's interesting. The art is really cool. Next up, we've got Sil Silvok Battle Chair. Sweet gaming chair. Uh, for four green green, it's an artifact equipment with four Mirrodin. So you get that red rebel creature token. Equipped creature has plus four, plus four, and trample. And its equipped cost is seven mana. Wow. Wow. Um, 
I don't think this is going to see any play in constructed. This could be an interesting card for limited. It's definitely a good card for commander. Um, but dang, 4-4 four, four and trample. This is so expensive. That's just not a good card for constructed formats. Next up, we've got Thirsting Roots. For one green, it's a sorcery. Choose one. Search your library for a basic land card. Reveal it. Put it into your hand. Then shuffle. Or you can proliferate. That's not bad. Either choose to ramp or choose to proliferate. I'll take those. Next up, we've got Thrun Breaker of Silence. Three green green for a 5-5 five, five troll shaman legendary creature. Thrun is back, ladies and gentlemen. This... Uh, creepy version of him kind of looks like a demonic turtle uh thrun says this spell can't be countered so you can't counter thrun it has trample thrun breaker of silence can't be the target of non-green spells your opponents control or abilities from non-green sources your opponents control so it has protection from white blue black and red as long as it's your turn thrun has indestructible so it has the Toski effect as well. That's, I mean, that's pretty good. Um, It's a 5-5. Five, five. Luckily, it doesn't have Toxic. So you can take four hits or three hits from it. Um, But yeah, you can't counter it. You can't shoot it down. You have to use green abilities to get rid of it. Uh, yeah, I, that's a pretty crazy card, in my opinion. It's only rare, so you're going to see a lot of them. Um, yeah, five mana, I think that plays really well into green constructed, especially mono green. That's pretty crazy. Uh, next up, we've got Titanic Growth. One and a green for an instant target creature gets plus four, plus four until end of turn. That's pretty standard for green combat tricks. And we've got Tyrannix Atrocity. Three green green for a 4-4 four, four Phyrexian Dinosaur. Dinosaur. With haste and toxic three. That's not bad. Five mana 4-4 four, four with thicken attack right away. Has toxic three, so you want to block it. Um, I like that card. for Especially for a common, this is a pretty good card. Uh, it doesn't beat this card, though. Tyrannix Rex is a 4 green, 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 8-8 eight, eight Phyrexian Dinosaur that can't be countered. It has Trample, Ward 4, and Haste, and Toxic 4. This is the game ender for green, for sure. Tyrannix Rex is pretty insane. It does all the things green wants to do. Um... Yeah. Big Chungus. It is seven mana to cast, but you're in green, so you can ramp. You got more mana than your opponents anyway. So that's pretty good. That's a scary card. Uh, next up, we've got Tyvar's Stand. X in green for an instant. Target creature you control gets plus X, plus X, and gains hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. I really love this card because X can be zero. So, you play four copies of this in your green deck or your multicolored deck. You can cast this for just one green and give something hexproof and indestructible and plus zero, plus zero. This is a great protection spell, but also can be a combat trick if you have the mana to pump it up. Um, you know, you can play this defensively as just giving something destructible, indestructible and hexproof. Um, you can play it offensively, giving you something a bunch of plus one, plus one counters. I think this is fantastic. This is going to replace a lot of hexproof cards. Um, immediately, it replaces Tamio's safekeeping. Um, it's just one of those things that this has more versatility in different states of the game than a card like Tamio's safekeeping. And yeah, I think this card's incredible. Incredible. Then we've got Unnatural Restoration. 
This is a cool art style as well. One in a green for a sorcery. Return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand and proliferate. That's pretty good. A lot of the restoration cards uh, lately have been multicolor green, black, or just black. So it's nice that, you know, green gets a permanent from your graveyard to your hand card. Um, plus it has proliferate. So this is going in my Finn the Fang Bear deck for sure. Next up, we've got Venerated Rot Priest. I've been seeing a lot of hype about this card as well. One green for a 1-2 Phyrexian Druid with Toxic 1. Whenever a creature you control becomes a target of a spell, target opponent gets a poison counter. So any, any, any creature of yours becomes a target of anyone's kind of spell. You get to choose one of your opponents to get a poison counter. That's pretty crazy. This is a very good card. Venomous Brutalizer is next. Two green green for a 4-4 four, four Phyrexian Knight with Toxic 3. Venomous Brutalizer enters the battlefield. You may pay one and a green. If you do, proliferate. So it's a 4-4 four, four for 4, which is already decent. That's like absolute bare minimum for mana value. Um, but if you pay 6 instead of 4, you get a 4-4 four, four plus you get to proliferate, which is also decent. Next up, we've got Viral Spawning. Ew. Two and a green for a sorcery. Create a 3-3 three, three green Phyrexian Beast creature token with Toxic 1. And it has Corrupted. As long as your opponent has three or more poison counters and Viral Spawning is in your graveyard, it has Flashback for two and a green. That's really cool. That's a really cool use of Corrupted. I like that. So Corrupted gives this card Flashback. You can cast it again for the exact same price you cast it the first time. Normally, flashback costs are more expensive. This one is the exact same. Really cool. And lastly, for green, we've got the green Dominus, which is a Pandrel Hunger Dominus. Five green green for a 4-6 Phyrexian Horror Legendary Creature at Mythic Rare with Reach. At the beginning of each... Reach? My voice, like, super cry. Reach? That's, that's how my insides feel when someone plays something with Reach. I play a lot of blue, so I play a lot of flyers. I like to get over the top of things. When someone plays a creature with reach, I'm like, reach? Oh, no. Uh, Zopandril has reach. Reach. And at the beginning of each combat, double the power and toughness of each creature you control until end of turn. Why, wizards? Why are you doing this? Okay. Um... So this is extreme. This has got to be the second most powerful Dominus out of all of them. Um, wow. The red one is definitely the most powerful. This one's got to be number two. My God. Okay. This is unnatural growth, but on a creature, this is not okay. This, this, this is not okay. As someone whose partner plays green a lot, my partner loves green, loves big creatures, um, myself included. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to play against this card, and it's brutal. It's a good thing it doesn't have protection from blue um and much like all the other dominus cards uh you can pay two phyrexian mana sacrifice two other creatures put an indestructible counter on zopandrol so it can be indestructible which is difficult and that's it for green uh there's lots of really cool stuff there's a little bit of ramp i really like this uh scrap gorger I think there's a handful of things I'm going to put into my... Um, I have a very powerful Finn the Fang Bearer modern deck. Um, I'm going to definitely put stuff like Unnatural Restoration in there. Um, yeah, there's lots of really cool creatures. 
Thrun is really interesting. It's got protection against every other color but green. Um, yeah, it's got just enough ramp. It's got just enough reach. It's got all the things that green likes to do. There's not a lot of duds in this color. I think green's pretty powerful. This Infectious Bite is also going in my fin deck. Um, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. So we're going to take one final stretch break. Uh, we're going to get some blood flowing in our legs. We've been live for three hours now. Three. Going over all of the monocolored sets. Uh, we have gone through a hundred and 